There's a testimony that uh, I would like to share, and it's um, it happened at work, the police academy, uh, last Wednesday. Um, last Wednesday, we had PT and uh, defensive tactics. Uh, PT is where we do our physical fitness, our physical training, and DT, defensive tactics, is where we learn like self-defense, how to fight, and things of that nature. And that morning, as we're running, we're doing this thing called an Indian run where you have two lines of people running the entire track. And what we do is, when he blows the whistle, you have to sprint to the front of the line. So you're running, as you're you know, running, you're running at somebody else's pace, and then you have to sprint so if they're running at a faster pace, you really have to run. And we did on lap like maybe six or seven, uh, and one of the cadets, he falls. And people are talking about, dang, he fell, and I was so confused because we actually have a cadet named Dang. And I thought it was him who fell, but they were like, dang, he fell, talking about another cadet and he fell and he broke his shin bone. And, you know, we get into the locker room because we got to shower and get prepared to get outside to uh, get get on the gym floor to do our uh, defensive tactics training. And in the locker room, everybody was just talking about, man, he's done, he's, he's not going to be able to continue the academy, this, that, and the third. And in my mind, I'm like, well, I serve a God who is who is bigger than that. I serve a God who can actually heal him, right? And as they're speaking, you know, all this negativity, I go into the gym uh, floor and I just begin to pray. It was just my first instinct to begin to pray. And as I'm praying, I have like all the cadets, they start to come into the gym floor, he uh, he's sitting on the uh, EMS bed because the emergency people were called out, and he he was just he was sad because in his mind, because we've been told like you know when you get a major injury if you can't continue, then we gotta let you go. We gotta recycle you. You're gonna have to come in for another class. And we six weeks in and. Everybody is just thinking like, man, he's gone. And I'm like, they like, it's going to take him six months to heal. And I said, I rebuke that in the name of God, right? And I'm like, Lord, you going to heal him. It's not going to take as long for him to come back. And in about six weeks, we have uh, skills where we go out to the gun range, shoot, uh, we go to the track and drive, and then we do report writing and stuff. And as I'm just praying, all of a sudden the Holy Spirit just falls upon me. And I begin to shout, and I begin to speak in tongues. And for those that don't know... Asking God, Hallelujah. So as I was speaking in tongues, as I was praying in tongues, we get done with uh, defensive tactics, and we go back in the classroom because we're about to get released for the day to come back for parent night. And He said He'll be back in six weeks. Hallelujah. They said, they said that they were going to keep him because the surgery that he's going to get will allow him to be back in like six, seven months. I mean, six, seven weeks. And in the locker room, everybody's talking about, man, that's like a six month, you know, recovery time. And in my mind, I'm like, like when, he, when he gave us the news in the class, all I could do is shout hallelujah. Because it was like, Lord God, this is what I prayed for. You know, that I can see in his 
in his eyes that he was just like, because because our uh, our officer he told us he was like, man, he didn't even want to tell us the injury, and he was like, yeah, it's it's broken, and he told him he said, man, we're gonna keep you, and he said that on the phone you can just hear a sigh of relief that yeah. he's able to continue on. And while I was praying, so while I was praying, anytime we see an instructor, even a civilian, you have to say, good morning, sir, good morning, ma'am. Like if y'all were to come to the academy, y'all are good morning, sir, good morning, ma'am. Regardless of who you are, it could be a child. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. And as I'm praying in the spirit, five instructors passed by me and I didn't speak to them. Normally, when you don't speak to an instructor, it's automatic punishment. Or they tell, they tell, they tell on you. They'll tell you, uh, L1 or L2, this cadet didn't speak to me. But as I was praying in the spirit, and as these instructors are walking past me, as they hear me praying, every single one of them, not one didn't, none of them missed, every single one of them talking about hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. And you don't, you don't really get that from the way that they carry themselves, you know, like, in my mind, I'm like, I, I, I've, I've kind of gotten into that presence of God. And it's like when you're in the presence of God, when God is there, oh, you're going to know it because everybody that comes around you, everyone that comes around you, they can't not hallelujah, amen. It's like... When you, it's like being in the spotlight. As soon as you come past that spotlight, it's like, remember what I told you, seize. Yeah. It's like God sees their heart in that moment. Hallelujah. Right? And it was just so amazing for me to be able to experience that because, man, we hear Pastor talk about all these moments that. God has used him. God has shown him things. And sometimes I'll be like, man, God, when are you going to show me some more? You know? And God was like, just like uh, Pastor Pierre was talking about, these are the set feasts or appointed seasons. There's an appointed time when God is like, okay, let me show you something new. Amen. So I pray that y'all, I pray that that testimony touches y'all and that y'all receive that testimony because man, it was, it was in the classroom. I, soon as he said it, it was just an outburst. It, it wasn't even, oh yeah, I'm going to say it. It was just, just came out and, and everyone know who I am. Everybody in my cadet class know that I am a minister. They know that I love God with all my heart. So as soon as I said it, they looked back, smiled, and said, Amen. Every single one of them. And some of them are Catholic. Some of them don't even, you know, that don't really have that relationship with God. But it was just like, man, the presence of the Lord was there. And it was nothing that they could do. God had seized them. He, man, he, hallelujah, hallelujah.